hey guys welcome back to my channel so it is a late night drink with me slash organize i'm only drinking a bk black cherry yes i know so alcoholic of me first time i've drank alcohol since christmas well no my birthday so i lie my birthday and yeah it's only 275 ml so like i said really but it, and it's four percent alcohol so it's actually just alcohol and fruit juice mm. and there's 1.1 units so again nothing but my brain could do with an organized like it's not too too bad but it could certainly be better I've now realised that I look so dark so I've improved it but I was just around that could do with a bit of a sort out I've got some just notebooks lying around I've got four books on my bed for anyone curious as to the books that I have on my bed then I will tell you so I have Little Monsters by Cara Thomas, Got It at Christmas, Blind Slighted by Karen Slaughter, My Husband's Son by Deborah O'Connor, and Strangers on a Bridge by Louise Mangoes. I say mangoes, but it's probably mangos. Mm. Yeah, two of them I got recently because I bought them used off of eBay like I think I only paid like a total of like three pounds something so really cheap and then one I got for Christmas and one I got from my nana like I just have the odd thing lying about and it could do with being sorted there isn't anything on the side of the bed I'm looking at that needs to go in the wash apart from the other sock so in terms of that I can't really clean my space using my usual method which is stick dirty clothes in the wash because it's not going to do anything also can you recycle ipad cases like it's an official one and i mean like can you put it in the recycling bin because i was going to put it in the recycling bin the other day but then i thought can it be recycled or do i have to put it in a black bin so let me know on that one my bedside table is relatively neat because recently I, not recently but like in the past months I take a, I took a photo off because it wasn't as important to me like it's still important but you know where it's not as important so these two books the little monsters and blindsided need to go in my bedside table because they're my two current reads i do sometimes a tangent read which is basically more than two basically it's two or more books reading at once but sometimes i just go for one it depends on the book and i kind of just wanted to start a different book as well as little monsters i've read some of both today I think I've read maybe 140 pages in total or probably about that. I actually have a word search down here. Why? It's actually probably almost empty and some of it would have been filled in. Like it was from when I was a child. And I always intend to do word searches. But I never do. Oh there's like a number one there. That's interesting. I've got a few pens on the floor, like some felt tips, some like normal writing pens, so I could do with picking up those and then evaluating what I've got. There's a your thing on the floor that I need to use for, in an ASMR video, so I should definitely get on to doing that, just so that then I can get rid of it. I've come across recently that so many people are leaving YouTube or like taking a break from YouTube well yeah they're taking a break from YouTube like what is it obviously yeah it's the two the two people 
who I know of have been on YouTube for quite a while and just need like a think about how to rebrand and I'm just kind of slowly evolving like how my channel started at the start so how my channel is now is like different the con the stuff I'm doing is different and that's just in almost four years it's crazy to think it's almost four years I've got the odd notebook because I was kind of planning out how much ensuite accommodation would cost and also how much standard accommodation would cost for uni and I was kind of working out could I possibly afford ensuite or just go for standard like I know I can afford I did actually do to-do lists technically I have two to-do lists one is academic one is like YouTube so academic wise oh my god I didn't do one of the things that I knew I said I was going to I didn't do a piece of homework I said I was going to start or I didn't start a resub that I was given and then for YouTube um, I didn't edit a vlog I didn't finish one of the videos I'd started I did something else on my list that's why I did to a video I'm currently in the process of filming. It didn't involve me filming a clip for it, but I filmed, not filmed, I did something related to it. I've actually got, God, I've actually got flashcards here, but I've only filled out two of them. And that is, what are the white blood cell do? And what are the five types of white blood cell? I definitely need to do flashcards, however, I haven't done as much research as, not research, revision as I should do, but I think that's because the exam being postponed, it's like, it's not as big of a deal. Did I get out my planning book, a notebook and write down any ideas that come to me whilst organising? I think I will do that just because... I've got the odd idea and what was that? Some I think it was a dog poo bag. <laughs> but sometimes I have the odd video come to me and it's just nice to write it down. Like one I'm currently in the process of filming so it's nice to write that one down just so that then there's like a tick next to it. Like you know, you like ticking things off another video I'm sort of in like the current sort of like starting to set it up so that I can run with that idea I'm also thinking growing out my hair but I'm also kind of liking the length it's at now I feel like it's gotten to a length that's okay but I really 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 want to do a high ponytail without with all my hair fitting in it there's just something I miss about a high pony don't get me wrong half up half down it's nice but I miss my high ponies. So 2021 is the return of long hair. Granted I only lost long hair in like February or something. Like I only got it cut shorter in Feb. But I really want to grow it out again. Just because I miss a high pony. And I prefer sleeping with all my hair out of my face. Whereas I find... With the shorter hair, you can't just <laughs> stick it up and out of the way. And I'm finding as it gets longer, there's less. I feel less and less need to style it. It's now a few days later, and I'm just going to continue this vlog on from here. I love how this looks red, like bright red, when actually it's just a burnt orange. But I'm going to continue on with my organising. I partly hate my brain right now because it was like at half one this morning I changed my bedding yes half one typically my mind is in an organizing move between 11 and 1 typically I should be going to bed at 12 I uh, apart from like before I changed my bed I actually like folded all my clothes <laughs> not all my clothes but the clothes that like I folded my pajamas in the Marie Kondo style because I watched three episodes of her show last night 
and it got me really in the organising mood. I've actually got hardly anything on the floor and in a way I've got barely anything on the sides as well. I think it's an age thing. I actually think it's an age thing. I think as you grow older your priorities change and for me my priority is now just to have like a nice neat organised room. I want to source out the stuff that's on top of my dressing table because I want to bring back out some of my makeup so that then I gain a little bit more storage in my wardrobe because it's taking up a bit of space so once I do that I'll free up some space so I want to do that I've got two videos that are sort of like ready on the YouTube system one of the um is sort of more ready than the other like I've done the tags for it I need to do thumbnails for both I intended on uploading one last night but it got to the point where it didn't finish like I didn't notice that it finished uploading till like half ten and because I hadn't finished all elements of the video it was sort of like I'm not gonna upload it tonight because it's too late so I'm gonna upload that tonight and I just want to get things done I definitely want to write a to-do a to -do list I don't know whether I want to write a big major to-do list or I want to write like two to-do lists in terms of each like diary so like one diary is an academic one diary is like personal and YouTube mainly YouTube but I need, I kind of want to get on with that and I just want to get on with content because I'm trying to keep up with two times a week like I'm trying to do two times a week but with sort of like assignments like with there being more set now it's sort of like mm, I need to get on top of things and because I've only got the res technically I've only got the research to do this week I'm wanting to get more content filmed so that then I've got sort of like backup videos so that if I haven't filmed one week or if only from one video one week I'm good okay so it's now just after five I sort of so I didn't do anything for a little bit and then I filmed two videos actually I filmed the 21 books that I wanted to read in 21 in 2021 and it was after I'd finished filming that that I realized that I hadn't filmed my what I read in 2020 video so I filmed that and I added a cardigan to make it seem slightly different but it's obviously gonna be obvious that I'm wearing the exact same thing but I wanted to do that I'm now about to go on my laptop and actually sort of do like the last details so like I need to do a thumbnail for today's video and which is diff kind of different like it's not something I usually do but it's something I wanted to do so I need to finalise that so I need to do the description add in links for videos that I want to include and just do the final like prep for the video because it goes live at 8 so it's now quite a few hours later it's about 10 past 10 I that video went live like I did the thumbnail for it and everything and that video went live at 8 it was actually like I just I almost felt as though I was kind of like sitting around waiting for it to go live because usually I'm in such a rush to try and get it up for 8 and then it doesn't go up for 8 so it's quite weird to be waiting I planned a video and I filmed two videos so I feel like in terms of YouTube I've done really really well I've written down two things that I want to do tomorrow because I just knew two things I wanted to get done tomorrow I haven't done anything academic so I haven't started one of a roof up or finished some mind maps for revision purposes but it's 10 past 10 so I can get on with that I'm thinking maybe doing a mind maps because I haven't done 
any sort of like revision in a while so I'm thinking my maps would probably be best but and then once I finished the my maps starting that resub because they literally did just put start it I didn't say like finish it or anything so that's the current plan so I feel quite productive I've done a lot this afternoon in terms of like making sure that video was up so I'm just going to get out my paper for writing, my, for doing mind maps and also get out my folder because I know that there was one that I hadn't quite finished. So I need to get on with that. But I do feel as though I've done quite a lot today. I had two lessons, granted they were both boring and I do need to do a like, little bit of work she was kind of looking at. So I'll put that in my notes to do because for some reason today lessons just seemed a bit dragging like they seemed to drag they seemed as though they were going quite slow and they seemed as though they were a little bit boring however i have also been set an assignment so actually that's a good point it's due in for the eighth so i'm going to put that in but i'm glad that i've planned it out that video actually I'm gonna write down to film it because I definitely want to get that in backlog as well like there was something that I put down on my list today that I've decided to move back to tomorrow because I want to get some academic stuff done so I definitely want to do that and I'm just in a good mood I don't know whether it was making my bed this morning at half one that did it for me I don't know but I'm just kind of like more pumped and I don't know I'm in like a productive mood I just feel happier in my space I didn't I didn't sort out my dressing table but I never wrote that on my to-do list and there isn't too much on my dressing table like I see the odd highlighter and there's like my purse on there and there's a pair of headphones I bought it's simple stuff so that can be done tomorrow so maybe I'll put that down but I'll actually use the tiny space I put for to do slash notes so basically I'm setting a lot of things to do with um, personal and I should probably put to continue with my free sub on the Tuesday for my academic planner yeah, I'm just feeling in a good mood. I'm getting loads done that I want to. I also want to film some ASMR, so I'll probably task that for later in the week. And I want to build up a backlog of that because I'm definitely behind. I definitely don't upload enough on my ASMR channel and I definitely want to. Actually, I could turn revising into an ASMR video, as my friend suggested. Okay, so it's just after 12 now. I'm packing up for the night. I've literally just turned off my laptop. I got some revision notes done. I also filmed the ASMR video at the same time. And I managed to get in a line and a reference for the resub, but I'm going to focus on it like Tuesday. So technically for me today is Tuesday, but yeah. So I'm going to try and focus on that. I feel quite good. I've got so much done so 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 much done and i even read today and say that i can't remember but i've done so much so i'm gonna pack it up for the night and i'm hopefully gonna continue on with this productive like mood tomorrow uh, but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.